Hi everyone, <laughs> Christina Sky. Here I am, Christina Sky. Um, today I just wanted to share a little thing I've done recently, which is bouldering. B -b 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 bouldering. <laughs> it was actually so fun. You can tell by my enthusiasm. Hi everyone, Christina Sky here. Today, I just wanted to talk about something that I did this past weekend, which was so, 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 so fun. I took up bouldering for the first time ever. And I'm still okay. I'm still alive, guys. I'm still alive. <laughs> so yeah, my sister invited me to go to a bouldering like introduction class. If you don't know what bouldering is, it's basically, my definition of it is basically you rock climb, but you don't have the ropes holding you up, you're just literally freehanding it, and if you fall, you fall. If you fall, you fall. <laughs> I avoided falling so much, even though in my in introductory in the introductory lesson, lesson, they made you jump off the wall and fall. I don't want to ever fall, so I'm going to take my precautions for that. <laughs> so when it comes to bouldering, literally anyone can do it. And to be honest, like with rock climbing, you don't even have to be like athletic or literally super fit. You can be anybody of any fitness level and just go for it because it's kind of like climbing a ladder or climbing the stairs. It's it's kind. I know it's not, maybe not stairs, more maybe more a ladder, but I feel like if you can lift your leg up to a certain bit of height, you can get to do bouldering. With bouldering, I feel like it's more you use your mind to kind of figure out where to go and how to get up. And I don't think you have to be super, super fit to do it. There's always the easy um, routes and there's also the harder routes. And over time, I guess as you go re more regularly, you can kind of build up your strength but obviously everything takes practice so i feel like anyone really can do it any age any fitness level so if you think oh, i'm not fit enough i can't hold myself up i was the same i didn't think i could hold i i can't even do a pull-up or a push-up i can't do a single one like a proper one <laughs> so if i can do it and i don't have that ability then you can definitely do it you i don't you don't have to be super fit to do bouldering if you're interested if you're interested in obviously doing bouldering and i think a lot of clinics they have people there who i think if you request them i don't know about all clinics oh, clinics all the centers climbing centers but a lot of them have um people who know how to help people with disabilities so obviously if you're someone like me i didn't really need that kind of help i just had to be mindful of what i was doing so i didn't put myself in pain or if you're someone who literally can't move a limb or you can't do certain things then there's always people around you just have to find the right centers with bouldering as well oh my god literally i've never felt some of the muscles that this worked <laughs> my fingers like literally today my fingers like i feel like i have muscles on my fingers i've never really felt that before like literally i feel it <laughs> it's so interesting like my friend and her sister said they felt it down their forearm so i mean and that's not normally a muscle you would normally feel because you don't really use that muscle like that really i feel my whole back the entirety of my back it worked my glutes my legs my core core definitely is one of them as well so chest as well oh my god my chesticles my chesticles got worked <laughs> so it works like full body kind of thing it works if you're looking for a full body workout and you want some lean mean muscles bouldering is a good one but yeah um i had a lot of worries basically going into this as if you're new here or maybe if you're not even new here you might not know that i suffer with chronic pain um which is caused because i had cancer and i had a surgery that just left me with all this pain yeah <laughs> i haven't really done much physical activity for four years now if you've seen the past few channels on videos on my channel you can see that i've been trying so hard to just get more physical this year pick up the pace a bit but still keep an eye on what my body's saying because i can easily put myself back into like serious pain mode and i don't want to do that so yeah that's my little background story yeah I decided that 
I was going to go with my sister bouldering. Ugh, it's actually a good week for me. So I was a bit worried that I was going to go and I wouldn't be able to lift my leg or do this, do that. And I was able to do it. There were some things like when she told me to drop, I, like in the beginning, like, okay, this is where it started. It was like, so basically the class was like a group of, a small group, about maybe eight or 10 people. And we had a trainer who was just teaching us safety stuff and like basic techniques and stuff. And one of the things was how to fall. I think that was one of the first things she taught us. And other than stretching and warming up and stuff. And <laughs> it was okay at first, but the impact of it, I could feel it in the areas where I'm in pain. And it wasn't so bad because I was on a good day. But I know that for definite I could not do this on a bad day. <laughs> However, it was a lot of fun. It was actually a lot of fun. Like after the whole, we did like stretches and we learned how to fall from three different heights. The highest one was a bit scary, <laughs> I have to say. Um, I just hung out with my sister and her friend and we just climbed the walls. I started off with the white and green one, which is one of the easiest. I think it is the easiest one. <laughs> Then the black one's the next one up. Yeah, it was it was actually really good fun. I just I felt like I needed to talk about it because I was just like, wow, this was this was actually fun. I actually got to just go out and do something and be physically active. Do you know how do you know how long and how hard it's been for me to be just physic? Like it's so hard for me to just run or jump or even cough or sneeze. <laughs> and for me to be able to do that wow amazing i think because it's different it's kind of like you're, you're just climbing it's not there's no re there's not really any impact unless you're falling there's not really any like any things to kind of jolt where my pain is and i think that's why i was okay with it the only issue was i thought i was gonna have a flare-up afterwards and i didn't all i feel today it's day two afterwards all I feel is the doms and it's great because I'm so used to this freaking bad pain that doms are nothing. Doms are just like, no, it's okay. I'm stronger than the doms. <laughs> but I've been really good and I'm so happy about it because it was a big fear of mine doing anything. And I have been saying no to so many things because I've just been like, no, I'm not gonna be able to, no, 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 no. And I feel like this is like a good start to being able to do more this year rather than just being in my room doing 10 minutes a day um like little workouts and stuff like i was struggling with those like i need to build up my cardio i think that's one thing i need to build up my cardio <laughs> i do have weak muscles but i was able to do the two easy walls so the two easy climbs so i can't be that bad <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested, literally just type in Google. It's all, there's different places all around London that you can go to. Um, it's really weird as well because as soon as I put it up on my Instagram, people I know that I didn't even know went boulder and started sending me videos and started saying, I'm like, a lot of people don't know where it is though. A lot of people don't know what it is but the people who do know what it is it's like send me videos i was like oh my god this is so cool i didn't know other people did this i didn't know anyone did this <laughs> but yeah it was fun i loved it i'm gonna bring all my friends i'm gonna just drag them along and say come let's go let's climb some walls <laughs> a big thing about it though because i've always wanted to do rock climbing i've always wanted to be able to basically hold up my own body weight because you know worst comes to worst and someone pushes me off a ledge i want to be able to pick myself back up off the off the edge of the cliff so yeah i need these skills to survive those <laughs> particular issues that may or may not happen you can do all sorts of stuff so at the end of the day it's really up to you what you want to do with your life like do you want to just stay in bed all day or do you want to try something 
I'm trying things without trying to break myself. <laughs> um, that probably could have broke me, but I was lucky this time. <laughs> I listened to my body. My body said it was okay. So I went for it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up because I mean, I know it's just me talking about bouldering. There was not much going on. I feel like I just wanted to update because I'm kind of just sharing my kind of recovery with the whole cancer thing and endometriosis thing. And I just kind of want to help people to feel inspired, I guess. Maybe introduce some people to some new stuff. Maybe you've never seen bouldering before and you'd like to try it. And now you see me who's pretty much disabled and I can do it. If you're not disabled and you want to do it, you can do it too. <laughs> Anyways, I will leave it there. I'm so interested in this now. I feel like it's like my brand new hobby. Um, thank you, sis, for inviting me. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Love and light.